All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. So if you didn't catch it, uh, the last video, I finally took my first step onto the steel path. Um, I had to swap. I started with Saren, uh, moved to Trinity, and ended up having to use Rhino to get through it. So I learned a lot in doing that. One is, yes, it's challenging. Two is that it seems like the Stalker and other Acolytes pop in pretty much constantly while you're doing it. Uh, but I learned that I absolutely need to be making some adjustments and getting much better with uh, a lot of different frames. Um, so it's going to be a process. Um, today we are not resuming Steel Path play. Uh, what I'm doing is a little bit of background work and prep, but uh, we also, a couple videos ago, had a ton of new stuff crafting. Um, and I picked up a whole ton of new weapons, but uh, yesterday... Uh, when I was doing a little background work, I also finished uh, getting all the stuff I needed to get both Jade and Dante crafted. So I've got all their component parts. So let's just pick all of these up. And then we will get both of those Operator. frames crafting as well. So Jade and Dante. All right, Dante, let's get you going. I'm really excited about Dante because I've used him two or three times now in the circuit. And I uh, really like the way that he plays. So grab Dante. Then next is Jade, uh, obviously, which was farmable from the event, which I have done a lot of the event as well. So let's get Jade going. And I think I have all of Jade's equipment as well, though I don't remember if I actually crafted it. She had a bow. Evensong, I think, was the name of it. So I probably already have that. Uh, don't remember... If she had a secondary, yes, she did. Cantare. Okay, so this is going to take four Argon Crystal. So obviously I'm going to have to do a little um, void uh, Argon Crystal farming. But there's also a lot of new things I could craft if I did that. So that's going to be a background. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but I'll have it done in advance for when I finally do test out Jade. And then the other, I feel like I also have already created, what was it called? Har Harmony, I think was the name of it. So it's not in my list, so I definitely have that crafted. So yeah, picked up uh, all the component parts. That is done. Uh, what I want to focus on today, firstly, is trying to get my fell arcs uh, fully upgraded through the rotation here. The most recent one I've done is the third. So right now I need to close 12 ruptures in Void Flood. And then uh, the last one, it's probably just solo a mission with three equipped I, i'm assuming it's going to be similar to the others um so it's following the same path uh let's go on to uh void flood in chrysalith is that where i want to go chrysalith i think i can get to there from a quinn bounty so i'm just going to say calm i was playing solo last time i was playing so i mean i guess i could try to do this solo um, I'll go for it. I'll see what happens. Close 12 ruptures and void flip. That shouldn't be that hard. That's the ones where you pick up the little energy balls. So it should be. Actually, you know what? Titania would probably be a better choice for that. Titania. So I can fly around. All right, Quinn. Please remember that your presence is enough to revive us. Bounties. We won't ever leave you drained. Void flood. Go okay, six ruptures. Yeah, we're gonna fly around to grab the energy with greater facility is what we're gonna do in here. Any second now, it's gonna let me through that door. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's get out the door. And this right here is why Titania rules for this. Because I can very quickly fly around to really annoying locations and just grab the energy right out of the sky. Make quick work of it. I think that's a jade.
So we'll just keep flying around. Where is there more energy? Up here. By the tree, way up here. That would be annoying if you couldn't fly. Grab that down there. We'll cluster down there. Beautiful. Yeah, I can chase these things. White floods have a tendency to wash in terrible things. One of those things is approaching. Do be careful. Okay, so let's just get up to the next one. It's gonna be down this way. Zip, 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 zip. I can grab another big one. That's perfect. Yeah, you know I'm grabbing that. Yeah, that's a lot of energy. Bunch up here. That would be annoying for anybody that can't fly to try to reach. fly back up again just keep doing the same thing guys fly around growl the really annoying ones let my teammates grab the ones that are on the ground got a big one there may as well grab that I am full while that's doing that I'll just get a little energy pump back in Fly back doctor. over here, get Not that bad. cluster, get this cluster. Yeah, this makes quick work of it. I should have been doing this all along in lieu of trying to do it with Rhino. Because flight. Wash, rinse, repeat. Need a break. Perfect. Okay. So, if we want to get out of here, we can get out of here. Got a little endo there. And if they want to go another round, we can go another round. Makes no difference to me. I have opened an escape lift for you. Use it when you need it. Looks like the thought is get out, which is fine by me. Downstairs this time. Yep, perfect. That was a super clean run. Well below that 70% threshold. So Titania for this is clearly the answer. That's perfect. Very quick run. So yeah, it should only take one more, guys. Um, I'll cut that next run out, but I should uh, have that next condition done. Then I expect it's going to tell me all I need to do is go back and solo with three equipped. 
then we can finally get the last evolution on the Felarks as well. Um, it's already hitting a lot harder having ranked it up and gotten some mods on there. But, uh, you know, getting the Max Incarnate on there will just add all the additional perks in the background. So, yeah, that, that just solidified that for me. Void Flood, grab Titania. Easy way to do it. Another Alternox. I've got plenty of those now. And some Relics. Noise. I guess I'll leave that group. I'm not going to just assume what they want to do. So I'll back out. So yeah, guys, I'll do a quick cut. I'll run it again, and then uh, we'll check out what we have to do after we get it uh, ranked up one more time over at Cavalera. All right, guys, just wrap that one up very quick. 7 minutes 13. We had uh, Titania Prime in there along with me, so two Titanias. Uh, we were just flying around, taking all the stuff up in the sky while our other guys stayed down low. Makes quick work of it. Titania is definitely the answer for that Ready mode. You, oh, you know what? I don't need to see Quinn again. What I need to do is visit Cavalero because I won't have done enough bounties for a whole cast rank up yet anyway. So let's evolve. Bellarks. Status chance, crit chance. Threshold build, headshots build 50% more transmutation charge. Crit chance, status chance. Hmm. You know what? I'd actually rather okay. like to see to what life. my you setup die. is for this first. I, I don't think I want to go crit because I think that the last one uh, is going to be that 50% at 2,000 damage on non-crits. But let's just look at it. Let's just see where the numbers are. So it's only got a 26% chance. Uh, what's its status? 8.8 .8 per projectile. I'm not sure how many it's shooting in each shot. Obviously, it's the shotgun. So, you know, it's got multiple pellets in it. My guess is I should probably just kind of set it up maybe similarly to how I did the Latum. So whatever can build okay. its charge quicker. What do you need? Here's where it gets interesting. Which in this case would be headshots, build Incarnan. Though, frankly, the Incarnan on this I don't like as well as I do on the Latum. Maybe it's better than it seems on the surface, but every time I've used it, it feels like it shoots really slow. Like it turns into two pistols that are slow firing is what it feels like to me. Yeah, the fire rate's definitely lower. Um... I don't know if it actually hits any harder, though. Uh, and we don't want crit. We could do status chance up. Being that I don't really use it for incarnate all that often, maybe I will just lower the crit chance. Increase the status. I'm going to try this one. I mean, I guess you can probably change it at any point, it looks like. That's why I'm going to set it up for now. So let's see what the next... Thing I have to do is it's probably solo something right complete solo with incarnate in each slot okay so easy so I'll keep Titania I'm gonna leave here we'll go back to our ship we'll just take a nice easy mission that we can get in get out you know kind of makes me wonder if I were to say steel path what would the next Earth mission be? I wasn't planning on doing it. That's exterminate again. Yeah, I don't want to mess with anything like that on Steel Pass. So let's keep it simple. I don't remember if there's a capture mission on any of these. There is. Let's just do a quick capture mission on Earth on normal difficulty. Make it quick. Get in, get out. I have three Incarnans equipped. Oh, whoops. I don't want to do this with a group. On low-level missions, I almost made that same mistake last time. On low-level missions, on the starting areas, you normally run into new players. And I don't want to ruin anybody's fun by rushing through. They're going to be needing to get the resources. You are I'm not here that guy. to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. I know it'll only take a second, but... I'll take a few seconds to just get a little more energy in the till. We'll call that good enough. So they're through here. 
You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. And hopefully it's just a quick one where they tell me I can the leave. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our subject brought back alive. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Yes, yes, yes. We did. It was so much honor in that fight. Quick in and out. That'll probably have taken under two minutes. Minute three. Could have made it faster if I didn't spend 10, 12 seconds at the beginning. <laughs> Getting a little energy in the tank. But you never know how far away the exit's going to be and it stinks running out of energy when you're not actively taking enemies down for the energy orbs. But that's okay. Exit. Exit. All right, so let's go head back over and see Cavalero once more. Empty. I've never seen it empty. That's crazy. Here's where it gets interesting. Gain 50% ammo efficiency while aim gliding and sliding. Punch through three enemies, 70% ammo efficiency for 20 seconds, or a 50% chance to deal 2,000 damage on non-crits again. I think I'm going to take that. I still think that that's the right option. Maybe there's specific weapons where that isn't, but okay. that just seems like Bring the best life. overall to me. So now I have three fully ranked incarnate weapons, guys. Mastered, mastered, mastered. And then I did notice so, this earlier today. I had never clicked on it, but it looks like... Gear. If you spend platinum, you can get some additional Incarnan weapons. The boar, I know that's a shotgun, obviously, so I could have two shotguns. Gorgon, obviously, I know what that is. I wonder what that would be like in Incarnan form. Gamma Core is largely useless, but maybe it's awesome as an Incarnan weapon. Angstrom, I don't know that one. And Anku looks like it might be a scythe. It a looks look clearly like some to. kind of a melee weapon. I don't know if it's worth grabbing any of these. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're not horribly expensive. So my thought is that it might well be, but we're not doing that today. Uh, um, we whatever. got accomplished Day on the shot. front side here what we wanted to do. So what I next want to do is I'm going to head back to the orbiter. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what I it should do? Check in with Yanta. In, in, in case it's not expensive to get a pinion today. Thrax and Void Gel? Yeah, if we're picking that up. I'm deeply interested. It resets in four hours? Okay, great. Yeah, these are the ones that take the longest to grind for since they're related directly to the Void Angels, obviously. So, let's just leave. We're going to head back to the Orbiter. And what I want to do today that maybe is crazy... Uh, whoops, I don't need to get anything else going there. Uh, what I think I want to do is grab my main man, Rhino, again. And then I'm going to head back over to... Is it Saruman? No, I think it's actually a menu up here. Archon Hunt. I've never done one of these. I see that it's quite high level. I don't know how tough these are to get through. If anybody would be mad about me bringing Rhino in, uh, no respawns. So you can only be revived by other Tenno. Bleed out timer shortens after each revive to a minimum of five seconds. Oh my gosh. This could just be unbelievably brutal. So mobile defense. Then Archon Hunt defense. Standard defense. Mobile defense. Defense. And then we fight this guy. Oh gosh, guys. I mean... I'm so hesitant to say yes, but I've never done it. Oh, gosh. Uh. Uh. 
You know, don't find out unless I try, so I guess I'll just jump in and we'll, we'll see what's up. Maybe this group slays. Maybe they're going to be like, oh, Baka, you're horrible. Get out of here. You're not ready for Archon hunts. I don't know. I don't know anything could happen, but we're going to test it because I haven't done it yet. Steel Path, we just started. Rhino got me through that, and I actually have teammates in here on this, so let's just see how this goes. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Okay. Oh boy, this Felix is uh, feeling really nasty. I'll just keep rowing, get my teammates. So far, so good. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Everybody down here doing well still? Yeah, this definitely feels uh, pretty good, terminal. guys, with that upgrade and the max uh, incarnate rank on the Felarks. This is really feeling quite nice. Quite nice. There's a heavy unit approaching. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! I actually don't feel like I'm totally out of my element with this. Felarx feels really good now. Really, really good. Get off of that turret. What are you thinking? Still working on it. Continue to defend. Yep. Area completed. Move yeah. on. Okay, so far so good, guys. I guess we got what we need. So we'll head through the door. Obviously, it looks like a three-stager. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. You don't want to do that. I guess I'm I'll in, jump Tenno. up here real quick. I don't want to take, take a too moment. long. Saito. Let's get you back up on your feet. Stay Thank focused. you. There's a heavy unit approaching. Is that right? Yeah, I see him down there. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Uh, 
Yeah, Stomp is uh, an ability that I hadn't been using all that much until very recently. As the enemies get a little higher level and they just take a little longer to take down, it does come in handy being able to just stop them dead in their tracks for a few seconds. So, yeah, getting even more use out of Rhino's kit. Uh, his one ability I still don't really use. I mean, I'm sure there's a time and a place for everything in the kit, but eh, it is. Maybe that's something that I could Helminth off. You know, another ability to swap in over that one. Uh, what is it called? Rhino Rush? Yeah. I am impressed with this Fell Arts. I mean, I liked it already before, but getting that final Incarnate level on it, it feels super nice. Super nice. So that is much less horrible than I was expecting it to be. Get a little gallium out of that. That's nice. Morphic salvage. Couple sentient cores. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I'm glad I decided to try another something new, guys. So far, so good. There's so much to this game. There's something for everybody at every level. And that was a Goss Prime and a Neja Prime. Neja is probably going to be the next frame that I do a first impression of because that's another one that I have had for ages as I've never even touched them. I don't see that many, well, maybe I've played with people using them, but actively I haven't seen it that much. Uh, so let's just see what the next tier is. Archon Hunt, we got that done. Okay, this is just straight up defense. Alright, let's go for it. See if we get lucky, guys. I would love to make it all the way through this. Well, this is uh, going reasonably well so far, guys. Um, so far, no problems. Picking up all sorts of stuff. Gallium, nice. I shall serve as shepherd and minister.
Is that right? Yeah. Skin's about half done, I reckon. So just a few more waves to go. He'll die from the tick anyway. All right, take that big nasty wave out. So far, so good. It's fine. Got a Trinity keeping them in place. Stop sweating, Margaret. Scan's doing fine. Old enough and ugly enough to do two mucking things at once. Bugger. Few more headshots. I'd be able to get some more incarnate back on again. Looks like there's one down there. I think our guy got him. Yep, perfect. See, now they're just taking a person. They're taking a something. I do not like that. Not one bit. friend down you go Oi. those little guys are annoying give us a hand no push pedals down you go strength in the room Okay. Is that more down here? No. Where's this last one? Probably it was downstairs, I'm guessing. Just about good, matey. Scan's coming along nicely. Just give it another minute, I reckon.
Yeah. Get a little bit more woolly. Everybody's still on their feet? I think so. All right. There you go. One archon, coordinates and all. Pretty as a muck and dinner. The scans are complete, Tenno. Prepare for an assault Perfect. on the Archon. Oh, boy. Cruel sister, Harpy, Gorgon. Pazul. Why All right. Did you persecute me? Orkin Cell, Sentient Court. 56 of them. Wow. That's a lot. GG's, guys. Yeah, got a lot of stuff in there. Okay. A Corvex, a Volt Prime. Don't know who the fourth was. I didn't catch it. I caught the Corvex in the Volt. Okay, so one more one more little round here, guys. Um about to be moment of truth. goes up uh, another level so we went from 130 to 135 135 to 140 140 to 150 so it uh it's all falling in in alignment i guess i guess that they don't let you farm this it's probably once per week or whatever the timer is i think i think it's a week i'd presume it's a week Amar. he will close the distance shockingly fast when he creates duplicates Look for the one that is armed. I guess I should get up there with my team, probably. This gate only opens to Narmer prayers. Just rush Tear up to the, the point. Tear the veils and use those. Saito, that doesn't matter. Alright, they got a thing. Alright, so I guess we're having to power this is two deacon barriers. Let's just try to keep these guys on hitting as uh, powerfully as I can. I'll have a reset in just a few seconds. For Roar. to me long ago. From him, I learned the wisdom of deception. Amar will prove a cunning opponent. All right, follow the guys back through here. This is uh, looking a little bit different than when we did the Archon hunts as like uh, part of the main story mission. At least it looks a bit different to me. Uh, it's been not that long since I did it, but I only did it the once, obviously. So, little tough to say, but that's okay. So we're down through here. We back through here. All right, guys, I'm coming.
Okay. So the Archon is down. Mar is that it? A hunter. Now he is a mere trophy. Good job. So I guess we just head out. Yeah. Nice. No real neat reason to mess around with that. Oh, come on. Okay. So that wasn't as completely horrible as I thought that it would be, but that's my first Archon Shard. So I don't know if I should save these up or if I should... I mean, I guess I'll just go back to the helmet and look at it to see what it does. My guess is that I just want to kind of acquire a big pile of these. Now, I know there's the standard Archon Hunt. I know that somewhere in the Sanctum Anatomica, you could also access something to get Archon Shards. There are a few other things you could do for Archon Shards. Jade, Yorelli. Yep. GG's, guys. Well played. So let's just go take a peek at what this is just to see. I don't think I want to risk slotting it into something yet, but... The bowels of the ship. So, Archon Shards. Embedded bonus. Melee crit damage, primary status chance, secondary crit chance, ability strength, ability duration. Well, that is just ridiculous. So, I mean, I don't know if there's any reason in particular that I should sit on these or save them. I mean, I guess, you know, it kind of depends on what it is you're trying to do. Mm, I don't know if you can unslot them, so I would be hesitant to pop any on. But hey, I have my first one. So I guess the next question is, I did notice in the Anatomica, uh, when I first got there and I was exploring the area, that there were some other places that you could also do Archon Shards. So first things first, let's just check and see. Okay, the Archon Hunt. Can you even run it again? Three of three complete. Oh, so it's a sortie. Yeah, so... I don't... What would happen if I clicked on that? Well, it actually looks like you could pop in and do it again. Well, I don't want to mess up any teams. Yeah, that's totally fine. Maybe it always does that because I've already done it. So I guess the next most logical thing to check would be... Let's just head to Deimos. Let's head to the Sanctum Anatomica. Let's poke around. I feel like it might have been... Was it tag fur? That had something we could do for Archon Shards. Let's check with Tagfer. Uh, yes. It's Netracells. Don't want to tell you your business, but if yep. I was trying to get into a Netracell, I'd go with a pack. Okay, so that's significantly higher enemy level. Um. I, I feel like ask? there was bird. one other means that you could earn these from in here. Was it the bird? I think it was the bird. Like Something it. you could do with the bird. Sprouse wares? Oh, no. no that one. Oh, it's sh sh shiny treasures, I think. Yep. So, if I had... What's that ticket? You need... Thir oh, maybe that's just saying the ticket is one per week. So if I had 30,000 standing, requires rank 5. So you have to hit rank 5 first. Okay, guys, what I think I want to do, because these are obviously going to be hugely powerful. Um, in between all the other things that I'm doing, I want to continue working on my uh, rank. So I guess let me just go back to Fibonacci. I'll check where I am. I think I'm up to rank 2 with Kavya. Ah, uh, well, if I had the... <laughs> I still need some shrill voca, so I'll have to do a little voca farming. Now, that's Kavya. Is that actually the same? Let me go back. I want to look at bird three again. Is this the same standing shiny treasures? 
No. Browse wares. Oh, oh, I love this Bird bit. three offerings. So yeah, it's it's all tied to Kavya, so it's not separate. So yeah, I, I just need to grind out the XP. Aww. Effectively is what I need to do, which is totally fine. So that's probably where I'm going to be focused the next uh, time we come in is, um, you know, trying to see what I can push over any other stuff that I unlock. But I'm going to do be doing a little background work on trying to rank up Kavya. I want to get that up to level five. I'm assuming it's once per week for that as well, since it says one per customer. Maybe it's one per day, plus the standing. So if you spend a couple hours and grind out the... XP that you need, then you could pick up a shard, but I don't know what the timer is. So we definitely want to focus down there. Now I've pushed some XP up with quite a few factions, uh, but none of them are all the way up other than like the syndicate stuff. Like I have, um, uh, gosh, I forget which one it is that I have ranked up to five, but that's the only one I have ranked up to five so far. But either way, yeah, I, I remembered seeing that and I'm glad that I did, but I do have my first Archon shard. Now, I don't know if anybody in the right mind would try to do that solo, but with a group and having the triple uh, incarnate weapon loadout, plus Rhino with whom I'm very comfortable, um, yeah, that wasn't nearly as horrible as I was expecting it to be. Uh, worked out pretty well. Looks like most people in there have a good idea of what they're doing. Everybody brought in, you know, a good loadout that was dealing out good damage and you know, just tackle the objectives as a team. So that went much smoother than I thought that it would. But yeah, guys, uh, so far, not bad. That's a pretty good day's grinding, in my opinion. Um, pretty fun. Gives you something different to do. Obviously, I remember the Archons, Archons uh, from the story mission. But it's nice to have another avenue for doing some stuff in the background. But yeah, guys, um, I'll be doing some background work. Next video, I'm not 100% certain what it is I'm going to be doing yet. Uh, it's kind of going to be a little bit contingent upon how much I get done in the background with other stuff in between my next recording session. Uh, but yeah, there, there's a lot on the table. Like I said, there's a, you could be pushed and pulled in a million different directions in this game. So I'm just going to focus one thing at a time. Right now, for me, I kind of feel like focusing down the shards as I'm trying to tackle the steel path would give me such an immediate boon um, that I think it's worth focusing just knocking the standing out there first. Uh, just, you know, it could take a few weeks. Um, there's a lot of parts I'm going to need for the upgrades Sorry. as we go through the uh, process, but I think it's going to be definitely worth putting in the time to do it. Regardless, guys, a lot of fun today. Hopefully that was reasonably entertaining. i give you an idea of some other stuff I'm uh, planning to go after in the future. But uh, good day's work. As always, I do appreciate you guys checking in, and we will catch you on the next one.